Okay, as you recall from before, the other video, we had wires soldered down inside there on the motherboard. We had the left and right drive motors, forward and reverse, and then we have a common ground. And there's all those leads right now. And I've made a little notch right here. So just so that things don't get pinched when we put the Arduino back in place. So now we'll get that lined up. Grab the screw that holds the Arduino and in. Tighten that up. Now we have the wires up here, and we're going to head and put them along here where they belong, make the thing run. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. From the motor, left and right, and from the ground. Now we'll put all these in the proper places. By the way, I soldered the ground wire that comes up from the motherboard right here into the downstream side, if you will, of the resistor that goes into the ground on this side. Because this is the ground on the input side. That's where we want that. Okay, you can stick the battery underneath the head in that area. A little piece of Velcro or something works quite well. Okay, I found yet another use for EPS foam to hold batteries in the bottom of Rumble Robots run by an Arduino. Okay, now we'll solder our negative lead of the 9 volt battery right over here on the uh, auxiliary battery input. Might take a little bit of heat because it's a big hunk of metal on that jack. Okay, we have our ground wire connected. Once you hook up power to this, you need to put the jumper onto extension power, not USB. That's important. There's a jumper wire here for the USB to power the Arduino or for the 9 volt external to power the Arduino. Put it on the external for this project. Okay, in the head are two switches. There's one that's a nice convenient off-on switch. And if you want to use those, which I like to use because it's nice, you can power the Arduino up and down and reset and all that with these switches. So that's really convenient to use. I'm just going to hook up the on-off switch on this model. I'm not going to bother with the reset. Okay, I'm ready to solder up my switch wires and I'm going to solder them right on to this power jack right here. First I'm going to connect the white wire to the back of the switch. I'm going to get a little more solder down here on the board just to make it a bit easier. I'm going to solder the white wire here. It doesn't matter which one goes where, it's just a switch. You can wire it any way you want. I've got a piece of heat shrink waiting there for when I'm done to cover this joint up with. So now I have a nice little solder splice right there for my power. So my power comes in here, goes to the switch, runs back into the white wire and feeds the Arduino power when I turn it on. Okay, the next thing that has to happen is we have to have ears. They look like eyes, but they're ears. This is a ping sensor from Parallax and it's just a little device that has its own circuitry on the back that takes care of all of the fun digital stuff and it puts out a signal that's ultrasonic that we can't hear I don't think dogs can either, they don't seem to mind it <laughs> and then it gets a, a ping back so it's like a bat, sends out a signal, bounces off something, comes back it times how long it takes, outputs a signal there's a 5 volt signal, there's a ground and then there's the signal that comes out. So we just have to feed it five volts of ground and a signal will come out of it. And then we just have to trigger it. It's pretty easy to write the code for this. I'll show you that later. But now we need to put this thing in the robot so it can see. I'm thinking it might go good in the face mounted like this. And by the
the time it's all together, it should look pretty strange and menacing, which is kind of fun. Okay, I have the face plate with the uh, ping sensor stuck in there with some super glue now. I put a little few drops around the eyes and some on the back and it's glued in quite sturdy. I reused the ribbon cable that used to go to the head of the Rumble robot. It had four leads, we stripped it back to three and it's convenient to use to hook up the parallax sensor because it has three leads. Now we'll get those leads down to the Arduino board and mount this baby up. Okay, I've soldered up the leads that come from the ping sensor and uh, mounted the ping sensor in the front and now it's in place ready to go and we'll put the head back on and we still need to do the LED flashy thing in the top. And we have a rumble robot almost ready to hit the road. Okay, I've managed to cram everything inside the head here. Got the flashing LED that goes off when it scans. We've got these guys mounted in its face. The buttons are all mounted, left and right bump switches. Everything's connected up and solid. And now we put the head back on and get some screws in the bottom of this. And we'll be ready to roll across the floor and see how it does. Okay, we've got them back together. We've got code uploaded. And when we turn it on, it starts. The bump switches work. Ultrasonic's working. Let's put it on the floor and see what happens. Okay, here we are at the, the Dino Fab Proving Grounds, which is basically my shop turned into just a pretty open area with some boundaries. Okay, so we're gonna start both of these together and see what happens. This is the first time that I have ever had two of them interacting with each other at the same time, so this should be fun to watch. See what happens if one of them is pointing at the other and the ping sensor gives it a false message back. like the carpet very much. These things have a hard time on carpet. The wheels need to slip sideways a bit. Rubber doesn't like to do that on carpet. This guy's doing pretty good. See how his bump switches work. There's that darn carpet again. <laughs> Vitor cruises around pretty high speed. He's only got one bump switch and he's got a longer backup program now. Boltman just hates that rug. He's got knobby tires. Maybe we should just do away with the rug. Crazy Rumble Robots. Just get one of these and an Arduino and you're good to go. Have fun. See you at the Maker Fair.